Okay, I wanted to introduce you to our Bitmoji classroom, uh, the virtual classroom that we'll be using this semester to stay organized and to stay interactive um, as sort of a replacement for our physical space together. Um, I've created a virtual space where we can um, share information, share photographs, work. Um, I'll share all the daily activities that we have going on. Um, you can kind of look around this space and see what makes sense. So we have, uh, first of all, my Bitmoji um, person will be clickable, and each week there will be a, um, you know, I'll go over any new important information or whatever activities we're going to be doing that week, um, kind of answer some frequently asked questions, and um, that'll just be something that you're going to want to get in the habit of clicking to be able to see any new information. Um, these buttons down here at the bottom, anything that's clickable will have, when you hover over them, the hand will display. So you can click on, for example, the Monday button and you'll see this, our nice little camera photo studio. And on the back of the screen um, will be our activities. So these um, underlined areas will be clickable and they will take you, take you to, for example, a um, Flipgrid activity or the Google Classroom, um, a Google Form, in this case, the Google Student Survey. So um, You'll want to keep up with things each day. And then, you know, if you have to catch up on Saturday and Sunday, that's fine too. They don't necessarily have to be done that exact day, but you want to make sure that you're um, trying your best to stay up with all of the um, daily activities each week. To go back home, click on the home button. It takes you back to our basic classroom space. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday will work the same way. It'll take you to um, the Tuesday, Wednesday assignments and then Thursday, Friday assignments. Um, we have several class pets. That's the advantage of being in a virtual space is that you don't have to um, be constrained by actual limits. So we have our class pet George over here. You can click on him each week. I'll add a new video of him doing something interesting. And then we also have our little three-legged uh, Blitzen down here doing whatever three-legged dogs do. So if you want to watch, if you're into animals, you want to watch those videos. Um, I take Blitzen to the dog park all the time. So there's lots of new content there. Um, if you're feeling a little overwhelmed and you want some mindfulness space, this uh, statue up here on top of the bookshelf um, will take you to just different options for whether you want guided meditation or some stress and um, anxiety activities to kind of lower your stress levels. I know that's something that all of us could probably use this day and age. And then, of course, you can go back home um, in the corner. Um, our student spotlight will be each week highlighting uh, down here in the lower right-hand corner because I don't know if you can see my mouse or not, but highlighting student work um, that is being turned in and um, that is exceptional for one reason or another. And then we'll also have a space for each student to show off a gallery of their work and kind of update that as we go along so that you can see each other's projects. Um, over here on the left-hand side, we have on this old camera on top of the bookshelf, that's where it will take you, click and take it you to some um, historical information about cameras, like the evolution of cameras through history or different historical um, periods. Um, this Annie Leibovitz book down here on the bookshelf, that is a link to a podcast, so you can listen to different episodes each week, whether you're cooking or jogging or doing whatever. It's just audio. There's no video. So you can just click and listen to those episodes. This globe here is um, a link to more information about our student trip. We're going um, to Italy and Spain summer of 2021. So hopefully all of the COVID madness will have died down by then. And um, that will be an awesome opportunity to be able to um, share one of the greatest places on earth um, with students and inspired, you know, future artists. So um, that will be there. Over here in the right hand corner, this poster is a, a link to our character dares and um, character work that we're doing this semester. So that's like um, practicing empathy and compassion and kindness and sort of this cold world that we've suddenly found ourselves in where um, it's, you know, an advantage or you, you have to stay kind of solitary that can be good for our physical health maybe but it's uh, very detrimental to our emotional and mental health so um, we're trying as a school to build in more um, activities to allow you to connect with your peers um, online so that will be there if you want to see some of my work these two Polaroid pictures up here will link you to um, you know a link of some of the different projects that I've done this past year so if you want to see um, just kind of the pictures that I've taken 
what my style is. I do a lot of portraits. Um, I do a lot of like location uh, photographs. I've made a series of collages and um, I, I like going out and just capturing nature as well. So if you're interested in any of those, you can click on these and see um, other like um, examples of my work. So that is that. Um, oh, the camera on my lap. Uh, like I said, my Bitmoji person will be there to um, give you guidance every week and explain some of the activities and some of the questions that um, students have. We'll also be meeting in Zoom um, meetings. So that will be something that is kind of built in um, every week on whether it's Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, Friday. We'll have a Zoom meeting as a class to be able to work in groups, um, hear each other's voice, and just kind of be there live together. And this uh, camera on my lap, if you click on that each week, it'll have a different tutorial and different mechanical, um, you know, whether it's shutter speed and aperture or ISO, just different um, mechanical tutorials for you getting to know the cameras. Now, you can use whatever camera you would like in this class. It does not have to be a fancy DSLR expensive camera. Um, if you'd like to check them out, we do have them available for checkout here. Um, kind of works the way the library would if you check out a book. Uh, you'll want to make sure that you get it back before the due date, but um, those are available. You can also use your cell phone. This is definitely a cell phone friendly class. I'd rather you take pictures than, with whatever picture taker you have available than miss the shot because you don't have like a fancy camera. So definitely make sure that you're taking pictures um, of different interesting things that happen throughout the day as well as keeping up with all of our camera assignments. So that's our Bitmoji classroom. Welcome. You'll be getting used to using this space um, as we go. It'll stay pretty consistent and then maybe I'll add pages um, depending on what our assignments are. So it's meant to be interactive and if you have any questions about that just make sure you let me know. Okay, thank you so much.